Yo, what's going on today? So today what we're going to do is coat this mural, varnish this mural, or sort of apply this anti-graffiti coating using a sprayer. I know a lot of you have been curious about, you know, coating a mural. If you're getting into murals, how do you protect it? So that's what we're going to do today. And I bought a five gallon bucket of the Vandal Guard anti-graffiti coating. It's about $200. It's a milky white substance, um, but it's very, very sort of like water consistent. So now I can use a sprayer. And to start, all I'm going to do is just start from top to bottom, top of the mural, uh, mainly because the uh, anti-graffiti coating does run down a little bit when you're sort of putting on heavy layers so that is why I'm using a light mist and thin layers so just going through and hitting it lightly and this is also why you need to have a cover on the lift because yeah this is so annoying and I should have done that before but all I'm like I said all I'm doing is going through and hitting it with a light mist of the anti-graffiti coating using the sprayer. Uh, what I don't want to do is stay in one area too long so that it builds up and starts to run down the wall because when it runs down the wall, it's really annoying. Mainly because although this anti-graffiti coating dries to a sort of clear, transparent coat, when you have a lot of it in one area, it does sort of build up and you can see those streaks. So that's why when it does build up, I use my roller and just try to roll it out as much as I can. One quality about the Vandal Guard anti-graffiti coating is that it is non-sacrificial. And all that really means is that when you're putting on a coat and you know you let it cure and it's protecting your mural and it gets tagged, uh, someone puts something on it or there's environmental damage, uh, you can power wash sort of that tag off or whatever that's whatever's on the top surface off and you don't have to put on another coat. So there's some anti-graffiti coating that are sacrificial and that means that the actual coating, the film that you're putting on it, comes off as well. And then when you sort of, after you power wash it, you have to put another coat back on to make sure your mural is protected. But this one, you don't have to do it. It stays on permanently. And that's why I like this characteristic of the anti-graffiti coating, mainly because if I do have to clean up a tag on it, I do have to clean the mural, I don't have to worry about buying more anti-graffiti coating and trying to apply it after I clean up the mural by power washing it. This layer is going to stay on there. So the five gallon bucket that I had, I was able to get about two coats in the various areas and I really focused on the bottom area of the mural mainly because you know if someone's gonna tag they're gonna mostly tag at the bottom so that's the area that I want to make sure that I take care of from the spec sheet it takes about two days to fully cure but it takes about 20 minutes to dry to the touch uh, you just got to make sure you spread it out as much as you can uh, in those thin layers and not have it build up in one area so this area that I just finished up with the remaining uh, anti-graffiti coating in the bucket, like I said, took about 20 minutes to me to just apply it and for it to actually just dry totally to a clear coat. So hopefully you liked the video and seeing how I apply this Vandal Guard anti-graffiti coating that's non-sacrificial on my recent mural. You can easily order this on Amazon, so try some of your own and I'll see you next time. Peace.